Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and today I'm here to share my November projects. Uh, this video is going to be airing on Monday, November 15th, and so we're partway, you know, halfway through the month, and I've got a, a lot of things to show you. I'm kind of following up on my October projects update where I kind of talked about the fourth quarter in general. So I'm doing a little bit more of that and uh, showing you a couple finishes and also a couple things I'm, I'm considering for actually 2022 as I get my list uh, ready to go. So let's get started. Just a quick rundown because it's just really getting uh, quite late in the year and so I'm really trying to be intentional about what I can really get done and what I don't have to get done. But uh, this I actually showed you last time. It's it's just some half square triangles for a quilt that needs to be finished by Thanksgiving. Uh, they're ready to be pressed open. They're, they're pretty small and this is just one, I'm trying to open that up, uh, one little portion of this quilt. So this is really my biggest priority right now is to get these pressed so I can do the center sections of these blocks and get the blocks in the quilt finished up before Thanksgiving in order to get it to my quilter. So that's really my first priority. I did finish up since last time another Christmas table runner for my gifting. This is a, a pattern from my Home and Hearth book and uh, it was super fun. It's really scrappy with a bunch of sweet water prints and I did a really scrappy print. All of these things are, are just one piece of fabric. It looks like it's pieced, but it's not around the edge. And I did use the Christmas morning for my backing. This, this is gonna be a gift, as I mentioned. And the only other thing I might do as far as table runners is I have another one cut out for this same pattern in Hustle and Bustle. And if I get this done, great. If not, I might just put the blocks together and save it for next year. But my Christmas table runner project is coming to an end. So I'm so happy that I started that in September. Okay, so this I just got finished up and I wanted to show you because I made this with the small uh, bowl cozy template that was in the, I think the September fat quarter shop. So sampler box. And I used the template. It, it went together really well. I was, I was pleasantly surprised how, how cute it is. I used the hustle and bustle on the outside and on the inside. And I was gonna cross hatch. They have you quilt it. There's, there are actually two layers of batting and, and two layers of fabric in this bowl. And I was gonna do a cross hatch, but it was kind of taking too much time. So I just did the diagonal lines one direction on and it turned out fine. I think it's plenty of quilting. It, it stands up on its own. You could put cookies or candy in it, or you could put sewing notions and give it to a friend. It's just a really fun pattern. They, uh, you could also stick a bowl in it, a white bowl or whatever, green, for Christmas. And it, it, so it's just really pretty versatile. I did use just a long ruler to mark the diagonal lines for my quilting. Well, I actually just marked one line and I used the chalk pencil from Clover. And then I used the, the bar on my machine. And we actually have a video tutorial for that that you can watch. So I used this ruler and this to draw one line. And then the rest I, I did using that method that I show in the video. We also mentioned earlier about to doing a video for one of the small projects from Home and Hearth. And we are going to get the project bag filmed and up for you before the end of the year. So I'm working on that right now. I'm going to use Seashore Drive fabrics for the one for the video. So that's one of my to do's this week is to get everything cut out so that video will be ready to film for you. Another thing I'm working on, and this is really going to be for 2022, but this is one of my works in progress that I haven't worked on for a long time. I, I feel like I kind of started running out of backgrounds and blues, even though I have a lot of Minikin Simpson fabrics. But I've collected two or three more little bundles since I last worked on this. So I'm ready to make some more blocks. And the pattern is uh, from Lori Simpson, and it's called On the Plus Side. 
and her quilt was in all reds and creams, but I'm doing it in all blues and creams. And so uh, this, I really want to finish this next year. And so this is going to be pretty high on the priority list for January. Almost forgot, I do have something else I'm going to try to get done before Christmas. These are two Red Barn Christmas panels that Sweetwater came out with. These are available now. I can put a link to them. And this one has, it includes two panels, six different little sayings, along with six different red and green quilt blocks. And then this panel package also has two panels, red and white sayings and six red and white quilt blocks. And a friend of mine actually cut all of these squares up and pieced them together and made one quilt using both of these panels. And it is so adorable that I'm going to try to get this cut up and pieced together and off to the quilter for this year. We'll see if I can get that done. And then when I was looking for those panels, I found a couple from last year that I hadn't done anything with yet. Uh, these are Christmas wishes panels and these are just full panels. And I think I'm actually going to have these quilted up. I might keep the red one as a throw, but I might cut up the the little sections in the black and white one afterwards to do some gifts. I feel like they would make really great table mats, uh, place mats, mug rugs, pillows, uh, even wall hanging. So I think I'm gonna also try to, this will be super easy because there's no sewing involved. I'm just gonna get a backing and some batting and have it quilted. Okay, a couple things I did finish up that I wanna show you are my Christmas version of the 2021 block of the month quilt. It is all done. I did a fun scrappy binding with my leftover red prints. Uh, you will be seeing this quilt on the first Thursday in December. We'll be sharing this. So, and I also finished up the version with my 12 inch blocks with my Happy Days fabrics. And this one is all done as well. I used the large floral on cream from Happy Days for the backing and the coral stripe for the binding. And I did use kind of the, the large citrine floral for my outer border. So you'll be seeing this one also on Thursday, December 2nd. I'll share the final block and the settings and just give you a view of those. So that's kind of a sneak peek. Just two more things I wanted to talk about. I did have a request, somebody, actually from a few people, about the sampler spree blocks. And yes, I'm still working on those. I keep them in this bin. I have 60 completed, so I have 40 to go. And really, I kind of see myself working on this throughout the month of December so that I can uh, give it to the quilter in January. I feel like if I get all my, my Christmas sewing done, this will just be some fun sewing 40 blocks, 10 blocks a week for each week in December. Um, I'll probably actually probably start this this month. But yes, I am going to be finishing this and I am going to be doing blog posts with my tips for the remaining 40 blocks. So I just wanted to point that out since I've had a few emails. And then finally, if you listen to the podcast, if you've been listening for a long time, I talked last year about doing a cheddar quilt and I got lots of questions about what a cheddar quilt is and really what I was thinking about doing is just a two color quilt with some of those cheddar tones. So I've got four different Bella solids from Moda and I'm just kind of in the planning stages. I'm thinking of some kind of a I don't know if I'm going to use all four of these, but I'm because these two are rather close together, but I'm for sure going to use three of them. And then I got a great idea from my friend Lisa Alexander. I had messaged her. She has made a few quilts uh, with these tones and I asked her about what she used for background if she used a Bella Ivory or another Bella solid. And she told me she did um, scrappy backgrounds in the cream tone range. And so that really inspired me. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull a bunch of creams that might be low volume, 
tone on tones, and that's what I'm going to use for my background. And I actually haven't picked a pattern yet, but I, I, I feel like it's so important for me to sew with other people's patterns. I, um, it just really inspires me. And so since Lisa has kind of been the inspiration for me doing this quilt, I'm going to pick one of her scrappy quilts from either her Oh Scrap book or her Scrap School book. So this is going to be kind of my beginning of 2022 project too. I, I kind of have it down for myself to get my, my backgrounds and pick a pattern before the end of the year. So you'll be able to watch my progress on this next year and I'll also, I'll have it done for next fall. So I'm super, super excited about uh, that. And that is everything today. Uh, we're also working on a Christmas stocking tutorial. So uh, you'll be seeing that soon. We'll link everything that I've talked about today in case you want to look up anything for yourself. And that's it for today's projects. Okay, that's it for today's November projects video. I, it's getting down to the wire for the holidays. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to be doing too many more things uh, for Christmas, but I am really excited about getting things ready to go just for December sewing and also for early 22 sewing. If you enjoyed today's video, I hope you'll share it with a friend, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for stopping by.